Oh, grandpa. Hello, um, uh, this is Kaiser. You probably may have seen my sister's videos, but I'm using my sister's account in order to use her account when I have to be. Hey, Imagine being halfway across the country at 13 years old, alone, with only your little sister and a grandparent you barely know. Hope you liked the video. But what you do know is you just accidentally found a crap load of CP. Oh my. The man who holds it, your own grandfather, is your only way home. Wow. 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 Wow, hey, I, I don't even got words. I, I don't even got words, but we, you know, it's it's always Man, those old some folks. Comments in the past, calling out my absolute honker ears. Hell, this one's even deformed. But even with my big deformed ears, you know what fits better than anything? What fits wonderfully? Break on everyday ergonomic earbuds fit like an absolute. Come on, bro. The video just started, and you already putting a sponsor in front of me. That's so disrespectful. No, thank you, bro. For the dramatic intro, I wasn't exactly sure how to uh, start off a video like this. But hey, as I near a million subscribers, I figure what better time to make an Oma origin story video than, well, now. I mean, it's not like there's ever exactly a good time to make a video about your grandfather being a serial predator. But hey, this is probably the closest it'll be to a uh, good time. <laughs> Why do YouTubers make these type of videos and try to make really them so scary? My dad. He beat the piss out of me pretty badly when I was a baby, so I hear. My mom was actually told that I was never even going to be able to walk, and I would likely be paralyzed. I grew up pretty religiously as well for the first 10 years or so of my life, going to church pretty much almost every Sunday. And you know, God teaches you to love your family. So when eventually my grandparents reached out to my mom wanting to be in our lives, she was somewhat accepting. Like I said, Why? I never like knew trying my dad, to scare he was alone never in my life, but his parents wanted to be in mine despite what he had done. My nigga on PokemonSoDown.com. Really to do with them. But after a few years and, you know, being a struggling single mother, he eventually first allowed dreamer. them to send us things through our church. I was about six. This went on for probably a few years, and my mom had finally decided that they had won her over enough to allow them to meet us. Us being me and my little sister, who is one year younger than me. Met him at Chuck E. Cheese, and honestly, I remember it being a blast. I mean, what kid isn't going to have fun at Chuck E. Cheese? I but love Chuck E. Cheese them learned a lot about them and we learned that my grandfather he was actually a pastor an active youth pastor at a wow. children's ministry in north wow. carolina wow bro speaking of north carolina bro bro it was some nigga that got hanged out there in north carolina he was on um, driving a truck bro for real he was driving a truck and he got hanged i think he was from chicago yeah in north carolina yeah he black they found him. He was like missing for a good little minute. Then when they found him, they found him hanging from a tree. His phone gone, his wallet gone, all that shit, bro. Of course, my mom liked that and, you know, green flags. So they began to come around more and more. Not much because they lived in North Carolina, but about once or twice a year, we would see them. Typically, we'd only really see them if they were like in town for some church reasons or occasionally family reasons. But this arrangement went on for about seven or eight years until I was 13 and my sister was about 12. I think I was in eighth grade at the time and we had concocted this amazing idea to spend our spring break over in North Carolina with wow. our grandparents. You know, really get to know them. Them. Honestly, overall, it was a pretty dope vacation. We saw mountains, I saw oceans, we ate great food. It was great, all besides for a few red flags that What's at up? the time seemed minor, but now, you know, I look at it a little differently. It was mostly minuscule, but there's one instance in particular that my mom was particularly concerned about, even at the time. There was one instance where Welcome. I had mildly, like, upset my grandfather, and he kind of, like, f just flipped a switch and turned into a whole new human being for a little while. It's kind of scary. Basically, there was this girl that I what you mean you never what you mean you never did oh you never knew i did of i used to promote it all the time that's commission mark of it's right there it's always been there always this is a wrong check to mess around i was gonna play a part of the game but I guess not today. Maybe some next time. 
I knew we were going to be meeting for some reason or another. I think she was like a step relative on my grandma's side or something along those lines. I'm not sure, but I knew I wasn't related to her and I knew we were meeting her. And of course, I thought she was cute. So I did what any boy would do at the time with no game. I sent her a Facebook friend request and added her there. I don't know if I thought I would lay on the charm with my Instagram posts like before Ooh. I met her, but I added her for nice. some reason. Anyways, my so grandpa as a How's it going, bro? Nigga, is this Sasuke? Yep. Yeah, you don't sound the same, bro. Like, you still got that glizz? Yeah, I still got that glizzy. How you been, Sasuke? I've been all right. What about you? Chilling, you know, doing my thing on TikTok. That's about it. I feel it. I feel that. I forgot I was on Discord, but I am reacting to a video, so I'll be back. All right. All right. Old people do took tons of pictures on this trip and posted them on Facebook. However, there was one particularly bad photo of me that he had posted where I just really didn't like the way I looked. It was an unflattering picture of me to say the least. I can probably find it, but I knew he had this girl friended and I had her friended and I didn't want her to see that. I was embarrassed. You know, I'm a young boy in a changing body and a girl that I knew I was meeting and thought was cute could see this ugly picture of me. So I simply asked him to delete it because I was embarrassed by it. I think a reasonable request for an insecure little boy, but uh, not to him apparently. He basically just got super pissy about it going like, oh, fine, I guess fuck? I'll never get pictures of you again. Guess I don't need pictures of my own grandchildren, kind of being a baby about it. But eventually he got over it and we went about our vacation up until the last night there. Ooh, what happened? What happened? I've been making videos for a long time. Pretty much since I was like five years old, I've been trying to create content on the internet. And as such, I've become very familiar with the internet and technology at a young age, including internet culture. You'll see why this is important in a minute. It was our final day in North Carolina and we had just gotten back to my grandparents' house. From Bruh, another place we were that shit looks so cool. I mean, it probably looked dumb as hell, bro. It was our final but like as a kid seeing a whole bunch of houses look all rainbowed up, you got green, purple, blue, yellow, blue, green, purple, orange, and shit like that, you be like, damn, that shit kind of far. But like, when you old as shit, you sitting here like, bro, this shit retarded. But yeah, that shit. Final day in North Carolina, and we had just gotten back to my grandparents' house from the other place we were staying at for a few days. We had our flight back home the next morning pretty early, and we had yet to print our tickets. And so my grandfather gave me his phone to do so. I did so without issue, and we got our tickets printed to go home. However, you know on phones how you can like swipe up or hit a button and see all of your open apps that are running. Nigga, what is this B? Oh my God. Yo, you probably the first YouTuber that just went from this scary shit to this trap shit, bro. I ain't never heard this beat before. This shit kind of hard. Hard though. Big Cardia B. In the background, and you can swipe up or down to close them. Well, I've always had a habit of doing that. And so without even thinking, I did so on my grandfather's phone, just out of habit. I was habitually swiping up fast. And wait, I, wait, so wait, I wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you tell me you you went on the phone, you was trying to close all the apps. Is that what he was just saying? My phone to do so. I did so without issue. And we got our tickets printed to go home. However, you know, on phones how you can like swipe up or hit a button and see all of your open apps that are running in the background and you can swipe up or down to close them. Well, yeah. I always had a habit of doing that. And so without even thinking, I did so on my grandfather's phone just out wow. of habit. I was habitually swiping up fast. And I, so I closed it quick, but I realized I closed an app that had caught my eye in particular, an app that I thought it to be interesting that my grandpa even had on his phone. I'll give you a few seconds to take a guess. Nah, here's the thing though. I don't trust people, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I don't trust people. Please, bro. I don't really like giving people my phone. You, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what they could do on your phone, right? But at the same time, I don't want nobody's phone, bro. When niggas got so much trust in you, bro, to like give you their phone, bro, they be like, hey, can you search up something like this or this on my phone, bro? I don't want to do it. Because if I type PX, R or something, bro, on y'all phone, the first thing that's popping up is them orange and red apps that niggas is not supposed to be seeing, bro. And and if I see that, bro, I don't know what to do, bro. Like, like that ad, bro. I'll be like, yo, just type this, type that. I don't even want to see it. Don't 
bro, please don't show me your photo app. Don't show me none of that. If niggas gonna say, look, I got a picture of this, man. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? These niggas be having so much. They be having like, they be sitting here like, they open the app. You see everything that out of nowhere. You might see something that you're not supposed to be seeing. So you gotta be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So like anytime when somebody's like trying to show you something, bro, on their phone, bro, I'm like, you know what, bro? Hey, just let me know when you get it because I don't want to see something I'm not supposed to be seeing, bro. Like for real, just for my innocence, bro. Because now if I see something that I'm not supposed to be seeing, I'm an accomplice. You gonna look at me weird. You gonna think I seen some shit, and you might want to kill me. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, if you gonna, if you got something on your phone, bro, wait, pull it out, and then come to me. And then after that, I'm gonna give you your phone back. Like if a nigga said, yo, look at this, look at this picture I'm about to show you, right? I look at the picture, but do you think I'm gonna just keep on swiping? No, bro. From my saneness, so I can stay sane, I would not do that. Some niggas are too curious. They'll sit here and keep swiping, 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 swiping. Then you see a fat ass cock on your goddamn screen. You see here like, oh, sorry. I'm not going for that, bro. Says to what app could be so alarming? That kick? App was kick. Kick Messenger. Oh my god, kick was a terrible time, bro. Why would he have kick at a time like this? I remember being on kick though. Me and SBG had a homie named Jeffrey, bro. This nigga, he would always change his kick picture. Now on kick, when somebody changed their picture, it would be blurry, right? So when you go click on somebody's profile picture, right? You be seeing here like, what is it, right? You go click on it. This nigga kick profile picture was the shit that he just took 24 minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. This nigga will go take a shit in the toilet, bro, and make that shit as his profile picture. It was so fucked up, bro. Kick was just an app that everybody used to text. You know, it was there before Snapchat and shit like that. Yeah, it was so popular too. You can like be in group chats and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it was far. It was far. Niggas used to send meme on that bitch, bro. I, I, it was just ahead of its time during that time. It was so crazy too because there was a time on Kick, niggas were used to send a 5G video. You know, how did uh 5G? 5g gum shit right as soon as you click it it'll be like how to choose your 5g right then when you open it nigga said come on in big dead bitches.com bro it's a big ass nigga big ass bbw nigga with this fat gigasaurus ass cock clapping his shit bro i was so scarred from that shit bro and the nigga opened he opened the front door, bro. I was so scarred. Kick had so much weird shit, bro. They be posting those type of videos. Niggas be posting gore. Niggas be posting niggas getting their heads blown up. It was just so crazy, bro. But I know at a time of kick like this, there were so many predators. Until now, there's still predators on that app. I don't know why kick is still here, but it's a predator app now. It used to be for kids. Now... All the predators go on there and try to search for kids. I don't know if kids are still on this app, bro, but yeah, kick is still a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's still a thing. But it's just a predator app. It's so bad now. I don't even know my login for kick. I don't even know like my username and shit like that. But I remember using kick so much when I was on the Android, bro. If you know anything about Kick Messenger or its history, then I'm sure you'll know why this piqued my interest pretty quickly. See, even being 13 at the time, I knew way more than I should have about the internet. So I knew about Kick. Kick for a long time had been, and still unfortunately is to this day, a clusterfuck of an app known for being the go-to messaging service for child predators. On Kick, users share messages, photos, and videos. You don't have to be friends to connect. Yeah, you don't. Anyone can contact anyone anonymously. Kick is one of the most popular apps that works this way. And that's the problem according to police. I didn't assume anything at this time and less alarm bells rang in my head than probably should have, but it was enough to pique my interest, at least a little bit. I mean, come on, maybe grandpa was in some church group chats. We went about the night as normally as we could, but I decided in my head that when everyone had fell asleep, I was gonna sneak my grandpa's phone and have a look see wow. as to what he was up to on kick. Who knows, maybe it really just was a nice church group chat and here's my cue to find God again. It was not. Hmm. For about three hours, I just sat on my phone, waiting for my opportunity. About 1am, everyone had fallen asleep for a little while. My grandpa had foolishly left his phone out on the table. He also foolishly didn't have a password on it. I managed to sneakily grab his phone and then lock myself in the bathroom to begin checking it out. I remember seeing his profile first. It was a picture of him in a tie-dye shirt. He went under the name 
horny artists. Needless to wow. say, there were no church group chats, and honestly, there was no real good explanation for why he had kicked. Unless you count having terabytes of CP as a good explanation. I wouldn't. I don't think I need to go into detail with what I saw, but just know I saw pretty much probably the worst stuff that I probably could have seen. I began scrolling through and there was probably about 50 different individuals my grandfather was trading this nasty stuff with. One of the main people he would converse with on this app was someone named Kat. He had also shared images of my sister with her, as well as pictures of the other step-granddaughter that we had met earlier on this trip. It was all normal pictures, but he just mentioned that we were visiting and that this other granddaughter would be staying with him for a week later that same summer. Now, honestly, I wasn't really sure what to do, and I mean, I don't think any 13-year-old would. The fuck? I didn't want to really record what was on his phone because I didn't want to have CP on my own phone and get in trouble. I made sure to memorize his username and diligently studied his conversation with this cat person. Funny enough, this is how I actually knew how to catch predators on Omegle is because this cat girl at this time told my grandfather that she uses Omegle to find other predators and kids. Anyways, I'd concocted a wow. plan. We ended up leaving the next day and made it home safely. Right when we got back home, I got right to work. When I got back home, I made a fake kick profile pretending to be a 26 year old girl and yes my plan was i was basically acting like a fellow predator 13 years old i reached out to him telling him i was a friend of this cat girl and we got to talking hey my friend kid told me about you who cat and just cat then he immediately sends a penis picture no words just straight it what? Married, i asked at this point Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even know why you continue that shit, bro. Yo ass just jumped in, conversate with your goddamn grandpa. Grandpa sent to me and I... <laughs> bro, I couldn't, bro. I would have closed that shit, bro. That nigga, that nigga, grandpa just came out and said, who? Dick pic. Off the gate, nigga, what? That's crazy. When I could gauge, he was a sick f and enjoyed being a sick f so I knew you probably wouldn't have an issue admitting to this. To be honest, yes. You? No, I'm 26. I have a boyfriend though. I mean, this right here, I don't, my age was really showing. I said that like a 26 year old wouldn't be married. Like that, like that's unreasonable. Like, <sighs> oh no. It's an open relationship. He doesn't care what I do. That's a 13 year old. How would you, how would you know about that shit, bro? A open relationship? The fuck? Does your wife know? Heck no. Better not get caught kissing emoji. I want to suck a dick. Try it. Do you have anyone whose dick you can suck? LOL. Try mine. I'm just short. LOL. You could always meet with someone. He sends another picture of his pee pee. What the fuck? What did Cat say? I asked if she knew any hot guys who will send pics, and she gave me you. He then sent me a picture of him holding his wiener with his face in it. Better wow. He also said camera. <laughs> Yo, you got, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You, you, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even continue this, bro. I couldn't, bro. The fact that he cropped out the of picture, bro. Holding his wiener. <laughs> Yo. Pics, and she gave me you. He then sent me a picture of him holding his wiener with his. The fact that you came out the gate and cropped this picture and put it in the video. On top of that, you edited this video, gang. You edited this video, bro. I couldn't even. I couldn't even fathom to go through this shit, bro. This shit would have scarred me, twin. I couldn't have this nigga meet on my fucking computer trying to edit this video, bro. No, I couldn't do that. No, bro. You got heart. Your own grandpa shit, bro. His face in it. Better yet, it also said camera right underneath the image. That mean he just took that picture. If it showed camera right under it, that mean he just took that picture on kick. He just did that shit. Which on kick means that I was taken alive right then. In that moment, all we were texting. Hmm, where's your wife? Hmm, uh, you saying that to, I get it. You was playing a role, bro, but you saying that to your grandpa, bro. It's crazy, bro. At work. Sneaky, do you have a friend you can suck off? I think my mindset here was I was just trying to see if he would mention, maybe mention anyone that I might have known or, or me or, or my sister or something. I don't know. Not yet. So I press them harder or sign depending on your relationship. I know some people would do stuff with their kids or grandkids. And then unfortunately, I got the response I was looking for. I would. With who? Granddaughter. Oh, how old are they? 12. How often do you see them? Then his response to that was a picture of my sister just sitting at the beach in her bathing suit. That was a safer. Freak. 
fuck out. Work image, it was like a Facebook image you would find on like a mom's Facebook. But obviously it's pretty disturbing to have seen it being sent around that way. I was honestly speechless, so I just responded with the uh, I'll send a pic later. He then sent another picture of one of his other step granddaughters, the one that we had met previously on this trip, who was also around our age. You know, now that I think about it, me and grandpa were I and the same girl, which was not cool, dude. When did you see them last? That they taste good too. What? I spent a week with first pick, second pick coming for a week. And you didn't try anything? And he just responded with her brother in the pool too. Rubbing your kitty? Hmm, yeah, I am. Nah, I see. And I guess I just never seen a vagina uh, in my life or knew how they work. Or probably even talked to a woman at this point in my life because for some reason, my response to, yeah, I'm playing with my kitty, it, can you see? My response was, send a pic when I'm not around people. Who's there? I'm in a car with my friends and mom. I guess the girl I was pretending to be was a freak. I really don't know how he didn't get skeptical at this point, but hey, I wasn't a professional at this time yet, okay? I was 13. He sent another peepee -pee picture. You play with cat? Not yet. Just started this account yesterday. Send you one of her sucking me when I see your pics. I love young. Okay, I'll trade. He sent two more PP pee -pee pictures and an image of a girl. Clearly not 18. At this point, I just decided to leave our conversation alone as I had pretty much got all that I felt that I needed from him and he had pretty heavily incriminated himself already. Yeah, he freaked the fuck out, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This shit would have scarred me, bro. You still talk to your grandpa? It's dead, bro. Crazy. ...at this point. So, naturally, I felt like I had seen enough of Grandpa for the day, and I just left him alone. I would've never, I would've never seen him ever and again. And before I even went to the police, or even told my own mom, I wanted to make people around him aware, so I messaged the mother of the other granddaughter. Excuse me, but do you have a moment to spare? It could involve your daughter. Yes? Now, honestly, I didn't think she would take me seriously because I was a literal kid myself at the time, so I lied to her a little bit. I'm an online vigilante who catches pedophiles and stops them before they do anything to harm anyone. Unfortunately, I have hard evidence of Tom Kinsley saying and sending very illegal things. I would keep your daughter away from him as well. And might I say that message was June 9th of 2017. And what a crazy foreshadow, because here I am eight years later. This was basically my destiny, you know? Basically, I created a fake profile pretending to be a 26-year-old girl to get proof of him admitting to things he wants to do to your daughter, his other granddaughter, and other kids. And inevitably, this got the ball rolling. And he then pretty swiftly underwent FBI investigation and was arrested and charged with indecent liberties with a minor as well as five counts of second degree sexual exploitation of a minor. Unfortunately, he bitched out like the coward we all know these child predators are and on June 17th, 2017, he took his own life in his jail cell. Hopefully this- What? <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Nigga, you made your grandpa die, bro. You made your grandpa kill himself. Yo. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's your grandpa. But at the same time, he did freak the fuck out. But like, damn. Shit. Nah, I don't know what to say, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, it's fucked up. The nigga was out here on some predator shit, bro. But, like, damn. Nigga. He basically made his grandpa die. What's up, Connor? This gives you all some more insight in regards to what... I don't blame him. Nigga was trying to touch his sister. You you right. You true. You, you definitely right, bro. But, damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know what to say. Why I do what I do and the content style that I make. Views and shit are obviously cool and all, but this style of content has always had a deeper and more personal meaning to me. Thank you guys so much for a million. That's literally my childhood dream. And I hope you guys continue to support me in the future. We have Excuse a me. lot of crazy videos coming up. That by far probably one of the craziest videos. And I ain't gonna lie.